Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless all of you. This is day two of our three days fasting. And this is the end of day two. Three days dry fasting. No food, no water. Congratulations, everybody. You did it. One more day to go. Four more prayer lines to go. Give yourself a round of applause. God is pleased with you. This is like the first for a lot of you. You've not done this before. Maybe you fasted before, but not to this point of totally dry. So just give yourself a big round of applause. Now we're going to pray. I will unmute the line so that you guys can pray. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. You don't have to shout too much. I don't want you to lose the little strength you have. Just pray. If you have noise in the background, please remove it so that we don't hear your, the noise. Or you can go watch on Facebook. That way you don't have to worry about the noise. But on the prayer line, let's try not to have noise, okay? We'll pray for a few minutes and then I'll share the word of God with you guys. But before we even start, the scripture that was coming to me while this worship was praying and uh, playing was... Hebrews eleven six. I was hearing it so clearly about how God is going to reward you guys. And let me read it in um, King James. Somebody can post it. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to him must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I, all I kept hearing was God is a rewarder. God is a rewarder. So everything you're doing now, he's saying that he will reward you. It's not going to be in vain. He will reward you. So have that scripture at the back of your mind. Hebrews eleven six. God is a rewarder of you that is diligently seeking him. You that is going to him in prayer and fasting so that that thing will go away. The one that Jesus said this kind does not go except by prayer and fasting. That's why you're doing this and he will reward you in Jesus name. Amen. So we're going to pray now. I will unmute the line. If you want to join us on the prayer line, the number to call into it is on the audio, um, the caption part of the audio, or you can download the app. And let's just pray for a few minutes as the Spirit is leading us. And then we'll share the word. God bless all of you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Rokoto robo si kalababa, ekele bo si gele ba sonte le baba. Rokoto bradi gada bo si gada baba, rete le baba ba shanta ya baba, rekata ya ba si le ya ba sonte ya baba. Hira ba si kele bo si kaya baba, rondo lo bo si ande le ba si higa do si ha ha. Reka braha de kota ya baba. Sekele bo siti ya katos ya ha Rakati ya baba sekende ya baba Ondo robo sandele baba sekele baba Rekoto sopolo hikata ya baba Rande kata ya baba sonte ya baba Rekati ya sekele bo siagados ya baba Ratele godo si gada baba Ire gado si palahandele bo ya baba Ekolo si kia kandele bos ya nada bos ya ha. Rekandi ya baba sekele baba ba. Rokoto robo si akala baba. Rondele gado si ya baba. Ire gada sonte le baba. Rakata ya baba. Ikara baba. Rekete ba sekele baba. Sokolo bos sinte ya baba. Eke ke ke ya sonte le baba. E kala tika ya ba sienti ya baba O kondo robo sige le baba O katika ta ya pale kotu supa la kante le baba A kala kasika la baba ba Soko lobo siaga disa kande le baba E ya pale konti ya raba siga dro siga da da baba E kale kotu bo siki de baba ba rika da baba Rente katu robo siaka la baba Rekati kadaba sonti yada baba siegede bo siaga baba Rakata ya baba O sapala baba sindi yada baba Ondele bobo siaga dabo sikele baba Rakati kataya ba sekenti yada dabo siaga baba O rada dabo siaga baba Ikele bo siaga baba Kele bo siaga baba 
Ira takaya ba 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 ya ba ba ba. Ire debo usika da ba 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 sekele ba ba. Raka di agba sokondo lobo siandele ba ba. Ire gaba seke ya kandoro kodo soporo ba. Ika la ba ba sekondo lobo siti ya la la la. Raka di gada bo sika da ba ba. Ire koto soko lobo siki ya ba ba. Raka ndege debo sanda ya ba ba ba. Rokonda ya ba segele bo zogo dogo dogo do. Ida gados ya ba 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 sinda ya ba ba ba. Rekete ye kete. Rakata ya ba 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 sentele bo bo usi ya ba ba. Ire dele bo usi ya da ba 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 ya da ba ba ba. Rege dele bo usi ya da 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 bo usi ya da 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 bo usi ya da 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 bo. Yeke de bo bo usi ya da ba ba ba. Ire dele de bo usi ya da ba ba. Yanda da ba ba. Yanda da ba ba yanda da ba ba yanda da ba ba yeke de ba ba usi ne le 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 ba usi ne le le. Rande le ba si kadi koto sokoro koto yogo to ya ba ba. Ire ge de si ge de ba 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 si ge de ba ba. Rondo kora ba si ge le ba 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 ba. Oh ya ba ba zie ge de ba usi kara ba ba zie koto koso koto ba ba ba. Rekat ya ba ba si ke ya ba ba. Onto lo ba si ke ndi ya kato sokonto lo ba si nte ya ba ba. Rekete kata kati kati so pole kandi ya raba si kete ya baba. Ora kata ya baba. Sekele baba. Soko loba si kaya baba. Rekete kete kaya baba. Yes Lord. Ida ba sekele baba. Rande la ba sekele baba. Oh yes Lord we love you Jesus. Sikala baba sekende lebo. Irekete re ba si kaya baba. Ura se ke le bo so ko lo ba han de le ba ba. E ya ka la ba ba si ke ya ba ba si ke ya ba ba. Ire ke te ke te ka to so pu lo bo si ya tin de le le le. Undo ro bo si te le ba 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 ti ya ka to ro bo si an de le bo bo. Raka ba si ki ya ka to so ko to bra hindi ka do si ya. Raka ta de ga se kon de le ba se ken ya la ba ba. Ire ko to so bo si ka ti ya la ba ba. Oh, da 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 bo, si ya da 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 bo, si ya da ba ba. I de 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 da bo, si ya da ba ba, si ya da ba ba. I de 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 da bo, si ya da 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 bo, si ya da ba ba. Rante ka ya ba ba, ya ka ya ba ba, ya ka ya ba ba. Ya ka ya ba ba, ya ka ya ba ba, ya ka ya ba ba. Eh, ya ka ya ba ba, ya ka ya ba ba. Ya ka ya ba 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 ba, ye ke te ya ba ba. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Sira kara baba sekele baba ba. Oh yes, Lord. Eh, ya para baba ya kara baba. Ira baba sentele baba usika ya baba. Thank you, Jesus. Sira na baba usia. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, kandele baba usia na baba usia na baba usia na baba. Yes, Lord, we love you, Jesus. We give you all the praise. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hey, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Kale kalaba sika ya baba. Oh, yes, Lord, ikaremos ya baba. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Aye, kata ya ba si kele ba si ti ya ba ba ba. Rokati ya ba ba si kendi ya ba ba. Soko lo ba si kendi ya kato ro ko to prada da ba. Sone la ba si kira ka si kira ba ba ba. Reke ra ba 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 si ya do si ya da da bo si ya da da bo si ya da da bo. Ira da 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 bo, si ya 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 da 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 bo. Yes, Lord, we love you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, we love you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ika la baba si kaya baba. Ika la baba si kaya baba. Hey, yes, Lord, a kara bo si ne ya baba. Eh, akara ba 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 ba. Ika ya ba 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 ba. Eh, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Ha! Ira sotele ba ba siya kataya ba ba. 
Rekete ya baba. Oh yes, Lord. Rekete le bos ya baba. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I love you, Jesus. Ida ba sente le baba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So God is reminding me of gifts. And I don't know, it's now making sense why he gave me that scripture that he rewards people who diligently, who sincerely seek him, who come after him sincerely. And he's telling me it's time for me to release gifts for you guys. So how many of you are ready for the gifts? How many of you are ready for it? Kaya pale basia handehe. He said it's time for you to release gifts. So I'm going to send angels. If you follow my ministry a lot, you know we do this all the time. But when we were about starting, I got that scripture. And now, while I was praying now, he was taking me to gifts, gifts, gifts. I want to give them gifts. I want to give them gifts. Gifts could be maybe you are looking for a job. Maybe that's your gift. Or maybe you need a car. Maybe that's your gift. Or maybe you need to get married. Maybe that's your gift. Or maybe you need financial breakthrough. Maybe you need healing. Maybe you need deliverance. Everybody's gift is different. When you receive it, it means something. There's a breakthrough somewhere. Something is happening. This fast is actually for fresh fire and breakthrough. So I'm going to ask the angels to release three gifts for you. And you will know that something happened. You will feel it when they drop it in your hand. Some of you will have tingling sensation. Some of you will feel heaviness in your hands. Some of you will feel fire. Some of you will just start to cry. Some of you will actually feel like a hand dropped something on you. God has his different ways of making his children know. Some of you, your hand will just be so heavy, like you receive something heavy. A lot of people that follow me, they've experienced this. And there's been a lot of testimonies. So if you're fasting with us, I pray that you will believe what we're about to do. So that God will give you the gifts. He knows exactly what you need. I don't need to know about it. But God knows the desires of every one of you listening to this call. So just get ready. Stand up. And just raise up your two hands. Just give me a few seconds. Let me prepare myself. And I will send the angels out. Hallelujah. <laughs> Rekete ra pori kata ya baba, rande lebo si kaya baba, iya kato sakaya baba. Oh, I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Rande leba ha si kia kato si akaha. Reka ya ba si keti aha. Thank you for your presence, Lord. Hey, thank you for your love. Ha ha. Hey, ya so pray. Hey, God, thank you for mercy, Lord. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for patience. Thank you for all you do for us. Thank you for just taking care of us. You said you would take care of us. And you are doing just that. None of us have fainted. None of us have died. We are so strong. We are all strong doing this. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Angels, get ready. Get ready to give them their gifts. Ha 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 ya kaya ba. Se ke te 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 ya ta ta. Ire te te ya ba 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 ba. Ra se ke le ba si ki ya ha ha. Rende le konti ya ba ba. Hey, Jesus. Ha ha ha. Hey. I love you, Jesus. Now raise up your hand. On the count of three, raise up your hand like somebody that is about to receive something. On the count of three. The angels will drop your gifts in your hand. Don't worry. God knows what you want or what you need. You don't have to say it. We, he knows. On the count of three, Father, Lord, I thank you. You told me to release gifts, to send angels to release gifts. And I'm just obeying you, Father. For everyone that is connected to this audio or connected to this prayer line, that is standing up, opening their hands. 
Father, give them the gifts that they desire, Lord, according to your will for them. Now, angels, get ready. On the count of three, I heard three gifts. You will drop three gifts for them. And they will have testimonies. Oh, yes, there will be breakthrough. There will be financial release. There will be miracles. There will be healing. There will be deliverance. Everybody, get ready. Make sure your hand is open. On the count of three, one, two, three. Now, angels, begin to release their gifts. You receive it. The ones on the prayer line, receive your gift now. The ones on the audio on Facebook, receive it now in the name of Jesus. The ones that are going to watch it later, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Some of you will not be able to stand. It will be too much for you. You will feel heaviness in your hand. You will feel heaviness in your hand. You will feel fire. You will feel fire in your hands. You will feel fire. You will feel tingling sensation. Ha! Rekete de bosika ya baba. Some of you will feel a strong presence of God in your room right now. <laughs> Angels are there with you. Kale baba siata ya baba. Ile de de bosso, kola de de bossia. You have received. <laughs> Somebody, your body is like electric shock is all over you. Electric shock feeling. Neke tele ba son tele baba. Ile de de bossi ndia na de bossia. Ile de de bossi kaya baba baba. <laughs> Somebody, you will begin to laugh all of a sudden. Somebody, you will begin to laugh. You will begin to laugh all of a sudden. You will be so drunk in the Holy Ghost. Hey! 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 Jesus! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I love you, Father. I love you, Father. Hey, somebody, I see you. You are shaking. You are vibrating. Somebody, you are laughing. Somebody, you are crying. Somebody, you are on your knees. Somebody, your hand feels so heavy, like something heavy was put in your hand. (laughs) Somebody, you have tingling sensation all over your hand. Tingling. I even hear somebody, you received the gift of healing. Somebody, God said he has given you power. He said he has given you power. (laughs) <laughs> he said he has opened your eyes. Everybody received something. <laughs> Some of you, he's saying that he's telling you what you received. <laughs> he said he's telling you what you received. Like he's telling you what you received. <laughs> Somebody, he gave you the gift. He said he gave you patience because you are not patient and you've been praying to God that you want to be more patient. I heard so clearly. He said one of the gifts he gave you was patience. From today, you will become very patient. Hey, I see a lot of people receive jobs. Somebody, you feel the presence so strong. The presence is so strong. There's like goosebumps all over your body. <laughs> so I hear prophecy. The gift of prophecy. Somebody receive that. <laughs> hey, you will begin to prophesy. Hey, I hear restoration for somebody. <laughs> somebody say they feel tingling sensation on their right hand. Hallelujah. Tell us how you're feeling. Something is happening right now. <laughs> Something is happening right now. Hey, Jesus, I love you so much. Hey, 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 Somebody say tingling sensation all over me. Somebody say, I just, I just asked God a few minutes ago that I need to be patient. Wow. Hey. She said she just asked God a few minutes ago that she wants to be patient. And I heard it clearly. 
He said somebody, he has given them that gift, patience. <laughs> I didn't even know you asked him that. Hey, hey, hey. Rekete keta ya baba. Hey. Somebody said, I just felt something drop in my right hand. Goosebumps all over me. <laughs> I had three gifts for each of you. Three gifts for diligently serving God, for diligently doing this fast. Even if you're not fasting, you are praying with us. God likes to reward his children with good, good gifts. He gives good gifts. Nobody gives gifts like God. <laughs> Somebody said their right hand is shaking and tingling. <laughs> hey, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, we love you. We give you all the praise. Akaya bo si kaya baba. Raka di gado si kaya baba. Rentele ba so tiara da bo si ara da bo si ara da bo si ara da bo. Re krada bra se krada baba ba. The presence of God is so strong in this place. Aha. Rentele kati a kati ara baba ba. Hey ya 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 ya. Hey ya 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 ya. Hey ya 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 ya. Oh my God! You guys need to speak in tongues. I'm going to release the prayer line so you can pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray, pray, pray. Ha, pray. Ha, ha, ha. Ika, ta, ta, ta. E, ke, te, te, te. Ro, to, ro, bo, se, ke, te. Ran, de, le, ba, si, ka, ya, ba, ba. E, kan, de, le, bo, si, ya, ba, ba, ba. Re, ke, te, de, 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 bo, si, de, 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 bo. Re, ke, te, 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 te. E, ke, te, 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 te. Ra, ta, 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 ta. Ire te 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 Ire te 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 Raba si kaya ba 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 Eke te le bo se ke le bo se ke le bo Inde le 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 bo sinde ya ba 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 Ra te te le bo se Hey Ah ha 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 Hey Jesus Hey Wa kaya ba o si ya Oh my God Eke ke 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 Rande le ba si kata ya ba ba Heke le bo si kaya baba Hika ta 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 Hey Oh my god Jesus Hey Jesus Raka ya ba se ke le baba Ira te ke le bo son to lo bobo Ira de de bo si ti ya baba Nele ba si kaya kante ya baba Oh yes Lord we love you Lord We give you all the praise We give you all the praise Ine ko le bo si ki ya baba Ende le bo sente le bo si kaya baba Raka ti ya da bo si te ya baba Hey Yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord Hey Hey Yes Lord The presence of God is here God is here with us. Sikolebo sikata ya baba. Nekete ya baba. Sonte ya baba. Hirabo siki ya nabo si ya nabo. Yekelebo sikete yekete. Hikata ya baba 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 baba. Hey! 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 Jesus! <laughs> hey! Hey! Rakata ya baba sika ya baba. Ira de 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 bo se ke te 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 Hey! Hey! Jesus! <laughs> hey! Jesus! Sekele ba ba ba, sekele ba 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 ba, sekete te 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 te, uro 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 bo sete de de de, sekele de de bo si ba ba ba, rakara ba ba sekele ba ba, shaka sekete koto pa la ba ba sekele ba ba ba. Hey Jesus, yes Lord, I love you Jesus. I love you Jesus. Ira kata ya ba si kete le ba si kete le ba ba. Ira kete le ba si kete le ba 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 ba. Ira kete te 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 te. Ira te 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 te. Ha ha ha. Hey, hey, ha ha ha. Jesus. 
Jesus is here with us. <laughs> Jesus is here with us. Ile kete lebo seka ya baba. Ile kete lebo seka ya baba. Naka ya baba sinte ya baba. Jesus. Oh my God, I love you so much, Father. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Se kete le koto lo basi kata ya baba baba. Ikete le bo si kaya baba baba baba. Ya kata ya baba baba. Ele koto lo bo si kaya baba baba. Onto lo bo si kaya baba baba. Ile kete le bo bo si kaya baba 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 baba. Kaka 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 kaka. Sonto lo koto lo ba si kaya baba baba. Kaka 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 kaka. Kakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
Thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for your presence, Lord. Thank you for all that you do for us, Lord. Thank you for your grace, oh God. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for favor. Thank you, Lord. Hey! Radabosha! Hey! Thank you, Father. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just worship him. 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 Oh, yes, Lord, we love you. We love you. We love you, Father. We love you, Jesus. We give you all the praise, Father. You are wonderful, Lord. Hey! Oh, yes, Lord. Irate kele basia hande. Irerebosia baba baba. Rekara baba 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 yakaya baba baba. We love you, my Father. Oh, hey, hey, Jesus. Ha. He kale kate yaba sika yaba baba. Irekata yaba baba. Irekata yaba baba. Oh, just thank him for your life. Thank him for everything he's done for you. There's so much he's done. There's so much you need to thank him for. Oh, I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My God. How is everybody feeling right now? Some of you don't even feel like people that have not eaten for two days. Or that have not drank water for two days. You're so strengthened. Tell us how you're feeling. My God. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God. My God. Powerful, powerful presence. My God. I feel the presence so strong. At some point, I started seeing like a white glow on the wall in my room. Like a white glow. Like a white glow. Glow of white on the wall in my room. Those are angels. All over the place. Thank you, Jesus. Hey. Somebody say, with each prayer, I get stronger. Hallelujah. Wow. My God. Hey. (laughs) Hey. Will says, thank you, Jesus. What a presence. Hallelujah. Some of you could not stop speaking in tongues, right? My God. Somebody say, "She, she she couldn't stop yawning. And her right hand was so heavy. My God. People were shaking uncontrollably. My God. Look at the comments. Wow. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Wow. Look at that. My God. Hey. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. He said three gifts. He gave you three gifts. Three gifts. And some of the gifts I was mentioning. Some people say that those those were the things they wanted God to give them. Can you imagine? Wow. Wow. Some of you actually feel full like you just ate. Check yourself. God has actually fed you spiritually. He has given you water. Your throat is not even dry. Your mouth is watery. Like there's water in your mouth. Like somebody just gave you water to drink. You are amazed where it's coming from. I've been praying for you guys. I've been praying for myself. I say, Father, water our throat. Water our mouth. Let us not be thirsty. Check yourself. It's like your mouth is watery or your throat is watery. You don't feel like dry throat or anything. No sore throat. No nothing. Two days. No water. No food. <laughs> yeah. And you've been praying heavily for two days. Can you imagine? No sore throat. No dry throat. Your mouth is watery. Can you imagine? You are not even weak. Your belly looks like you just ate. (laughs) Your belly feels like you just ate. (laughs) Hey, yes, Lord. Everybody feels the spirit so strong because you are fasting. When you are fasting, the flesh is weak. Now you are sensitive in the spirit. I'm going to allow you guys pray again because some of you want to pray more. So I'm going to unmute the prayer line. You can pray. We'll pray for a few minutes. 
because the presence is so strong in this place. Just pray, even the ones not connected to the prayer line. Just pray, just pray, 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 pray. Let me unmute it. Wherever you are, pray because the presence is so strong here. That's right. Pray, pray, pray. Ha ha. Yeah, take it. Hey. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Pray. Pray, pray, pray. Rakata ya baba, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, Rakata le ba se kete le bobo, ile kata ya baba, take it, le bo si kanda ya baba, ende le ba se kete le bo si kata ya baba, eka ya kaso koto rapo se kete gada, rakadi gada soko dorobo sinta ya baba, ile kata ta ta ta, hey, yes Lord, yes Lord, ah ya 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 ya. Hey, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hey, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Akada ba 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 ba. He did it in boat. See da 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 da. Hey, oh, he da 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 boat. See ya ba ba ba. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hey, he da take a level. See kaya ba ba. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hey. Are koto ro bo 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 bo. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Rakata ya ba 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 ba. Eke te ke te ke te ke te ke 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 ke. Rakata ya ba ba. Ire ke te re bo si kata ya ba ba. Nakada ba ba ba. Eh yes Lord, yes Lord. Eh. Ire ke te ke te ke te ke 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 ke. Oh yes Lord, yes Lord. Ke 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 rakate le ba se ke te ke 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 ka ka rokoto robo si kara ba 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 ide de de bo si ya ba 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 ike le bo se ke te le le bo si ya ba 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 rande le ba 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 ye ke te ya ba 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 ye ke te ya ba 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 ye ke te ya ba 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 ye ke te ya ba 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 ye ke te ya ba 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 I just want to tell you guys what's going on. I'm reading some comments. Somebody say, I vomited and I was heavily sweating. Oh my God. Thank you for deliverance. Somebody said, I just spoke in tongues for the first time to tell you that the spirit of God is so strong in this place. The presence is so strong. People are getting delivered. People are receiving gift of tongues. <laughs> Rekete te 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 roko to 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 ro do to porobo siakata hiraka la baba rekele baba baba rekele baba baba randele baba baba hey oh yes lord hey ayaka ya baba 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 hey thank you jesus thank you jesus hola ba sika ya baba hey ya sokorobo sika ya baba oh yes lord yes lord Hey, yes, Lord. Ira se kelebo, se kelebo. Aka, ka, 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 le kata ya baba. Ide ke telebo, se kelebo. He, he, he. Ha. He ke teleba si kada baba. He ke teleba si kata ya baba. Hey, yes, Lord. Hey, yes, Lord. Ida da 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 bo si ya baba. Raka ya baba, se ke ya baba. Re ke teleba si ki ya baba baba. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hey, 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 yes, Lord. Nika da 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 ba ba ba. Eke telebo seke telebo. Hire kata ya ba ba. Raka telebo saka ya ba ba. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Iya kata ya ba ba. Rege de bo si gaya baba, rande le bo sante le baba. Hey yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Hey ke te le bo si ke le baba. Hey yes Lord, yes Lord. Hey, le kata ya baba. Le kate le bo se ke te le bo se ke te le bo. Ide de de bo si ya baba. Le ke le bo se ke te le baba. 
Hey, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Nila da da bos ya baba ba. Nila ba 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 sekete ya baba. Ile kete le bos ika ya baba. Oh yes Lord, yes Lord. 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 Oh yes Lord, yes Lord. Run the le ba 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 ba. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Ida da da bosa ya baba. Eka la baba si ka ya baba eka ya baba. Ida kata ya baba. Ya kado bosi ka ya baba. Oh yes Lord yes Lord Ikelebo sakaya baba Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Oh I love you Jesus Yes Lord I love you Jesus I love you Jesus I love you Jesus Oh I love you Jesus Yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Hey. Oh kata ya ba 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 ba. Ale kata ra ba ba ba. Oh yes Lord, oh yes Lord, oh yes Lord. Egele basika ya ba ba. Eke ke 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 ke. Akala baba si gaya baba ye gaya baba. Eh yes Lord. Eh yes Lord. Eh yes Lord. Oh da 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 baba si gaya baba. Ye gaya baba si gede boso koyo bobo. Ya kale basi kandele bo si gada baba ba ya gado sopula baba Ye gado sokolo kandi gada baba Ida gado si gede bo si ya baba ba Ye gada bo si ya baba Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord Ika la baba de kete ya baba Hey, run the carababa. Oh, for the bobo shiga bababa. Ragada bosi bababa. Rakata ya kata ya baba. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. We love you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Wow. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. My God. Hallelujah. Wow. That was powerful. My God. I feel so full. I feel full. I don't know how to explain this. <laughs> I feel full. My mouth is watery. Like I just drank water. I just feel so full. I feel full. I feel strong. I was thinking I'll be so weak. Looking for food by now, but I'm actually strong. It's like something, I see some of you say you were vomiting and you are not even eating, yet you are vomiting. That means God is really cleansing you, are delivering you. Thank you, Jesus. Can you believe this is our eight prayer line? We've prayed, this is the eighth one out of 12. We have four more to go. Can you believe we have done eight prayer lines? <laughs> In two days, my God, <laughs> my God, wow, it, it's just going by so fast. <laughs> Ew. I'm seeing a lot of your comments. Look like a lot of you have some really powerful encounter. I'm reading your comments. Wow, wow, wow. So we have four more to go. By the time it's midnight, which is how many hours from now? Five hours from now, it will be day three. Wow. Some of you are like 12 hours ahead of us. So you're already in day three. Some of you are six hours ahead. You're already in day three where you are. God bless you. You see, it wasn't so bad after all. It was not so bad. You did it. I am so proud of you. God is a rewarder. He has rewarded you already. Did you see how my father works? Like, you would think this would be done on the third day. That's why I tell you guys, the things of God, we don't have a particular schedule. Oh, it will be done today. We could just be on the prayer line day one. He's giving gifts. It could be on. Today, I did not expect to do this now, but I just had to follow the leading. I know he gave me that scripture when we started. And then while we were praying, he said time to release gifts. I'm like, wow. Wow. So if you missed the part where we did um, release the gifts, thank God for the audio on Facebook. You can always go back and watch from the beginning or listen from the beginning. Um, somebody say, I heard that. I heard Sandra say, I heard that is my daughter. Believe in her in everything. Wow. That's powerful. You say, God told her that I'm her daughter. She should believe in me. My God. I'm glad it's coming out from your mouth. I told you guys, God says he will speak to you guys. He will, he will speak to you guys during this fast. Because now you can hear him clearly. You're not full, so full that you cannot pray. Your light, your spirit man is ready to pray. If I even turn it on again, you guys will still pray for as long as. But I'm trying not to make you too weak. Because we still have four more to go. God bless you guys. So make sure you watch it again if you missed that part. So you can get your own three gifts. Somebody said they're already in day three. Oh, look at you guys. <laughs> they're already in day three. We were still in day two. It's 6.52. We should be ending in two minutes. In, in eight minutes. I don't want to stay longer than seven. But um, in the next time we come, we'll be day three. Hey, God. How many of you, in fact, you know, after this fasting, you guys need to treat yourself to something. 
Be proud of yourself. You will look at yourself in the mirror and you will say, I am proud of myself. <laughs> because you know, before we started this fast, the devil told some of you on here that you cannot do this. Some of you heard it clearly that you can't do this. <laughs> hey, somebody said that was powerful. A lot came out of me. Wow. Wow. Look at that. A lot of people vomited, coughed, and look at that. God, maybe some of the gifts you got was probably deliverance. Wow. <laughs> Venus Lavelle said, just 30 more minutes. We are still in the spirit. <laughs> You don't want to be two weeks, really. <laughs> you can pray more on your own. Wow, wow. <laughs> Larian say, woman of God, you are the real deal. God bless you for everything you do for the brokenhearted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil told some of you, you cannot do this. When I first posted that post, some of you were like, nah, I'll just pray with them. I'm not going to do it. Some of you on here, tell the truth. He told you, you can't do it. In fact, even you, you are surprised at yourself right now. <laughs> See, somebody say, yes, me. It's, I told you. <laughs> he said, you can't do it. Even up to yesterday, even today, he was still telling you, you can't do it. Are you sure you don't want to eat? Are you sure you don't want? <laughs> are you sure you are not missing your plantain chips? Are you sure you don't want to go and taste that soup that is in you, you, <laughs> my God. Yes, Lord. I feel so happy. I just have this joy. I always have this joy when I'm in the presence of God. There's this joy. That's how you know that it's the spirit of God. It's always, it's a joyful spirit. Yes. Yes. It gives you peace. And by the way, I told you guys something in the other video, audio, the other prayer line that we did about how one of my followers was watching and sharing somebody that was trying to bring me down. But guess what happened? All those things I told you was to see what is going on. Do you know that she asked me to forgive her? Because she was also part of, she was listening. I didn't mention her name because I'm wise, you know. She asked me to forgive her, that I should please tell her I forgive her. Otherwise, she won't be able to go about her day. I said, sweetie, I already forgave you. But I was just telling you that it will be hard to trust you. You understand? And guess what? She said, thank you, woman of God. Don't worry, I'll earn your trust again. This is somebody that I actually care about because I care about my followers. I love you. I care about you guys. So, But do you know what happened? I still sent her the $400. And you know what I wrote? I said, this is blessing from Princess Belemzi. You don't have to pay me back. God bless you. I sent it to her because I am trying to be like my father in heaven. <laughs> you understand? I am not trying to pay evil for evil. I pay good. Eh? I give good. See, there's a scripture for that. Let me read that scripture in case you guys don't know. Hold on, guys. There's a scripture for that. There's a scripture for that. Boom, 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 boom. Romans 12, 21. Don't let evil conquer you, right? But conquer evil by doing good. How can we be preaching these things and when the testing, the time comes, we don't do, we don't do good. I say, I forgive you, sweetie. I already forgive you. Funny enough, I wasn't upset. I just wanted to point it out because I see a lot of people doing it, you know, but it's not like I, and I wanted you guys to be aware of these things, you know, but me, nobody can bring me down. I cannot go to hell because of one person. After all this Holy Spirit that I'm enjoying, all these presents, you cannot miss heaven for one person. It's not what he, you understand what I mean? You understand? I said, the, the Romans 12, 21 say, don't let evil conquer you, but conquer evil by doing good. Can somebody add that scripture? You know, add that scripture to one of our scriptures. She knows she messed up. She apologized. She was listening to the audio. She heard everything. The moment it finished, she sent me a long message that she's sorry. You know, she messed up. And I forgive her. I just say it's going to be a little hard to trust. Jesus doesn't trust people anyways. Because he knew the heart of man. You know, when I say trust, it doesn't mean I'll trust anyone with my life. But it's just you have to be cautious with the person. But it doesn't mean I have hatred for anyone. Because see, eh, sometimes people have to be bad before they can be good. I don't know if you guys get that part. People have to be bad before they can be good. Meaning they have to kind of make a mistake to be corrected and then they will become better. Does that make sense? 
And God always teaches me how to be good. He teaches me how sometimes this thing could just be a test. And sometimes it's not just about saying you are this, you are that. When the real test comes, you have to pass that test. You have to really show that you are what you preach. Do you understand what I mean? And it's not always easy. It's very hard, but that's fine. God, see, God gives sun to everyone. Both the evil guy, the good guy. We all enjoy the sun. He did not say, okay, you evil people, no sun for you, no rain for you. Only my people. No, because he's a good God. He's a good God. I even have a scripture to round up with that. You understand? I have a scripture to round up with that. Me, I'm very happy. Oh, you have to do the things that please God so you can be happy. You can live a happy, happy life. If not, it will be hard to live a very joyful life. You have to do the things that please God. So you can, you can be happy. I want to read the book of Matthew 5 from verse 40. Let's read Matthew 5. We're going to use that to round up. As we are fasting, you guys are learning things, learning to be like Jesus, learning to be like God. And also all of you on here, make sure you do good during this period that we're fasting. Not just during this period. I've always told you guys, always help people, help people. Sometimes angels will come in disguise. And ask for help. Let me tell you guys what happened one day. This was like three days. The day that I the day that I declared the fast, right? A lady, one of my followers, messaged my mother that God led her to my mother to to ask her to help her with money for to to complete for her rent. And my mother was a little somehow about it. And because she was like, Is this message for her or for the woman of God? Because some people message my mom thinking it's me, right? And my mother, my mother was like, how come she's never seen this girl's name on my videos? Because even though the girl had my flyer and everything on her page, and her page looks like a real page. She's had it for years and stuff like that. And my mother at first was trying to research to make sure it's not a scammer. Because, you know, we have so many scammers. Talking about scammer, my cousin sent me a message that one of you sent him. These scammers, they started showing pictures of people in orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they started showing pictures of people in orphanage with some a bunch of children. Let me even post it so you can see. <laughs> in case they send it to you guys, oh, <laughs> these people ain't playing. They they, they are so serious. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys that because they might be sending it to you. They took picture of a bunch of kids taking advantage of these children. <laughs> this is a real deal. You know, I went to the orphanage um, to visit orphanage people last uh, a few months ago when I went to Nigeria. Before you know, they was start using that one, that picture too, to send to people. <laughs> ah! I want to show you this so that you guys can see it. These cameras. Uh, let me see where I'll post it. I'll post it on my page so you can see it. So if I post it in the comments, it might go fast, fast, fast. This th these cameras are going too far. That's what I'm going to target at. These cameras are playing with God. Hmm. These cameras. I'm trying to post it. Eh? So you guys can see. <laughs> they don't take pictures of children. No. <laughs> this is some serious thing. And some people are falling for it. <laughs> because they love to help kids, man. They love kids. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. This is some serious business. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, let's see. I'm not the only one that they actually tried uh, to scam. They scam, even Prophet T.B. Joshua, they have a lot of pages that they use with his name to scam people with the water that he uses in his church. But their time will come. I just posted it. You can go check it out. I'm going to read it, but I wanted to post it for you guys in case you wanted to, to keep it and just be ready. In case they send it to you, you know. I just posted it on my wall. You'll see it. <laughs> but so Isaac sent it to me. One of my followers sent it to him. So look at what they, they now send pictures to, with woman of God's name to scam people. And her sister fell for it or so. And somebody said, they scammed my daughter, Gabrielle. She sent money. And they sent her the picture of kids. See, I didn't even know they've been sending. <laughs> oh, my God. Eh? Ah. 
Some, Shalina says, somebody posted my kids. How, uh, my kids today on a GoFundMe page to raise money for a fishing trip. I reported, wow, they use your children? What? So they're not using people's children to be posting to get things. This is serious. So. <laughs> my God. <laughs> Oh my God, have you guys seen the post I posted? Check my wall, you see, you see the innocent children that they are using to rip people off, all in the name. <laughs> I say, this is serious, so what? Hey, another level of scamming. <laughs> you guys saw it, right? What do you think? Seeing those pictures of those innocent kids. Rip off. Try to rip people off. But their time will come. It is well. All things work together for good. For those who love God, right? And the ones that are called now. <laughs> You've seen it, right? I know. I see a lot of you have shared it. A lot of you have are commenting on it. He said, Pastor, please help me tell woman of God. Someone is using this picture in WhatsApp. Saying he walked with her in an orphanage. In our orphanage home. And I've never mentioned this orphanage in my, any of my videos. Can you imagine? This is amazing. It works with her in an orphanage home. Using her profile in Facebook to send, to be sending account details to people. This is a WhatsApp number. The guy even posted the phone number for their WhatsApp. Uh -huh. I think you can even track them with phone number. I don't know if they, they do that. She said my, my, she said my sister has mistakenly sent them money. Thinking it was woman of God. Chai! Ay, ay, ay! My God. <laughs> and now some people will actually think this is me. Oh. And they will just be hating me quietly. Me, I will not even know that. I have people hating my ministry. <laughs> thinking I'm scamming them. Me, why me? I don't even know about. <laughs> oh my God. This is so funny. They will be hating me silently, privately saying I just scam them. You understand? They will say, this woman of God had just scammed me the other day, not knowing the woman of God has no hand in this. God help us. I know my father will fight for, for me, so. Somebody said, this is why people are so discouraged to help, because they don't want to be scammed. You're right, sweetie. We don't blame them. But if you watch my videos, I always say it. We've been talking about this for, since last year, actually. So, unless the person doesn't watch my video, they, that's why they, because sometimes they scam people that just started watching from the first day. Or some people that don't even watch, but they've heard about me or something. It's just when you see children and you see how they look, you want to help them. And you know what is so strange? When Pastor Isaac sent that picture, I was praying in tongues. And do you know what I heard in my spirit? God told me, he said, those that innocently sent, thinking they are helping those kids. Listen to what I'm saying. He said, those that innocently sent thinking they are helping those kids, that he will bless them. I even told Pastor Isaac, I messaged it to him. I said, God will bless them for sending. See, the scammer is the one that has the problem. You that from your heart, even if it's $50, $100 you give, you understand? The ones that innocently sent, thinking they are helping those children, God told me, he said he will bless them. Do you understand? Somebody said they scammed, they scammed her of $500. Chai! Is it that $500? Were you sending it to me? If I bring it to this place now. <laughs> God says he will bless those people that actually thought they were. It's just like when a pastor wants to dupe you and he's telling you to, 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 to like support a cause like a like this, like orphanage thing, right? And you, you, from your heart, you bring money for the orphanage. God will bless you for supporting that cause. But if the pastor used lies to get it, that's something that he has to deal with God about. You know what I mean? For you that did it. For you that did it from your heart, you are blessed. And you know, when I heard that, I was like, wow. I had to type it to my... Um, to my cousin god says he will bless them he will bless them because you gave thinking you were given offense so the heart of giving the heart that you had in giving god will bless you for that 
but the scammer, the money will purge him. <laughs> you know, they may enjoy the money for a few days or a few weeks, <laughs> but something's going to happen. Something will happen. So back to the story, I just had to share this picture so you guys can see what we deal with. You understand? And like I said, I'm not the only one they fight. There are so many other men of God that you guys get messages that they use their names. When you are growing and they see that you have a lot of followers, they start to do this. But our father that sent us to do this work will take care of them. Just be careful. I don't ever message people asking for money. It's not my style. Even this fasting, I've already told you to give an offering. Sometimes I post the paper in for the cash app, but I don't go to your inbox to say, have you given your offering? I don't roll like that. <laughs> the ones that want to give that are led to give, fine. The ones that are not led to, it's okay. That's between you and God. So my mother was doing a research to see if this girl was real. like, And she was saying that, well, She's thinking to give her $300, but she, she's going to hold on to see because she doesn't want to be scammed, right? You understand? So guess what? I say, hmm, it is well. I say, it's amazing how they now come to you for money too. So when I was watching, um, I was about to watch that movie about Paul, the apostle, apostle Paul, and God told me to pray that I started praying and then he gave me the three days fasting that I posted on Facebook that we'll be having a fast. The next thing God told me when I was praying, my mother was sitting beside me. He said, tell her to help the girl. Tell her to give her the 300. My mother is my witness. I was speaking in tongues. They cut out about that. I said, mommy, give her the money. I will give you back if you don't have it. I'll give you back. Help her. Like I was in the spirit praying. And God said, Give her. So indeed, God sent the girl to my mother to a point that he had to confirm it through me while I was praying. Now, even the ones now that God did not send those scammers to come and scam them. God just told me that he will bless those that gave from their heart thinking they were helping orphans, even though they were scammed. Meaning when you help people, if that person is lying or whatever, most likely it's on them. But you, from that heart that you gave, God will reward you. Because you, you thought that you were doing it for someone that was in need. That's the part that God sees. Now, if that person goes and does this, they have their own punishment. They have, they have, you see what I'm saying? I'm just trying to give you guys an example. Now, I want to read this scripture that God gave me today after i had sent her the money and she was surprised because she wanted the 400 as a loan to pay back but one thing with people coming as loan they never pay back they always say they want loan but they don't pay back i have some people that have said they want to loan money from me they they've see today they haven't paid me back <laughs> but they mentioned loan so it's like they are putting themselves in a cage or trap <laughs> I don't know, you know, that kind of stuff. So I want to read Matthew 5, 43 to 48. It says, you have heard the law that says, I want to read it in NLT. That's what I'm going to round up with, okay? It says, you have heard the law that says, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say, this is Jesus speaking. I say, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. In that way, you will be acting as true children of your father in heaven. For he gives his sunlight to both the evil and the good. And he sends rain on the just and the unjust alike. Just what I was saying, right? If you love only those, those who love you, what reward is there for you? See what I was saying? That God is always rewarding his children, right? It says, if you love those who love you, what reward is there for that? Even corrupt tax collectors do that much. If you are kind only to your friends, because today when I was talking the story about the lady and how she's supporting pe or watching people that are trying to bring me down, a lot of you were commenting, block her. That's Judas is carrot. Oh my God, some of your comments were so funny. <laughs> some of you are so funny, okay? 
You are fasting, but yet you are like hammering. That's what blocker. That don't trust that one. That's Judas Iscariot. Somebody say, "Wow, Judas Iscariot is still alive." I tear laugh and I saw that comment. Do you know I went back to go watch that thing. Somebody say, "Judas Iscariot is still alive." I laughed. That comment was too funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> they like block her, remove her, tell her to go. Do, 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 do. Some of you, you know what you commented now. Come on now, we are fasting. Let us see. Let me tell you, eh? This is our work with Christ. Eh? Do you know sometimes we have to make mistakes so we can know better? So it's okay. Forgive yourself for the comments that you made. Some of you say, Judas is alive. Some of you say, ah, that one, I will delete her. I will don't talk to her. In fact, don't allow her. Collect the ticket that you bought for her. Collect the room. Somebody say, me, I need that ticket. Collect it and give it to me. I will come to the program. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Eh? <laughs> Go back and watch that video. That audio, you will see some of the comments. <laughs> Hey, you guys are supposedly fasting. You're supposed to be full of love. <laughs> the comments made me laugh. Judas is still alive. I say for where now? Where is Judas? <laughs> oh my God, that was so funny. Ah yeah yeah, y'all are so funny. <laughs> I was laughing alone in the room when I was reading it. <laughs> I say these people, oh, all of you need to repent. <laughs> My mother said, guilty has charged. <laughs> Even my mother confessed that she's guilty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Eh? What happened to love? What happened to forgiveness? What happened? Some of you forgot about those things. Love what? Forgive what? Eh, eh. Somebody said, that's why I don't have friends. Somebody said, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> See, you guys are all laughing now. You See how we're having fun in this place. We say these things not because we want to hate people. We're just addressing it. But at the end, we have to listen to the spirit on how we, 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 you know, how we handle it. Otherwise, we may sin. We may end up being like the ones that we're complaining about. See, when you're angry, eh, if you're not careful, you may end up doing something worse than the person that angered you. But if you pay attention to the spirit, the way you handle it, it will even shock the other person that pissed you off. Even before that lady asked me to forgive her, I had already forgiven her. That thing did not even pain me. Oh. I just said it for training purposes. Because especially when you're fasting, God reveals things to you. This is a revelation from God. For God to know, to teaching me of what happens you know how some people are not loyal. Some people are here and there. You know, it's the same thing with God. Some people say they want to serve God. They want to worship God. Today they are crying in his altar. Tomorrow they're in a voodoo priest house. But when they come to God and say, I'm sorry, Lord. I didn't want to go there. My friend made me go to that voodoo priest. Please forgive me. God will still forgive them. You don't know that the people that are from church, they are going straight to voodoo place. Voodoo place. Oh, you didn't know. Church where they just cried and spoke in tongues. Once church closed, they keep their Bible in their car. They're driving to voodoo place. Yeah. But guess what? When they finish, even if they come back that same night. Father, I don't even know why I went to that place. I'm sorry. What was I thinking? Please forgive me. I'll never go again. Guess what? He will forgive them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I say, God will still forgive them. And we want to be like him. It's not easy. Oh. You understand? But guess what? We are to be. Let me read this. Let me continue reading the scripture. He says, if you love only those who love you, what reward is there for that? Even corrupt tax collectors do that much. If you are kind only to your friends, how are you different from anyone else? If all you want to do is help your friends or love your friends or people in your circle or people in your clique only or people in Princess Belemzi Ministries, the only people you want to be kind to, how are you different from anyone else? Even pagans do that. But you are to be perfect, even as your Father in heaven 
is perfect. I like the way the King James Version says that. Verse 48. Somebody post that. Matthew 5, 48. Post it in NLT and post it in King James. He says, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. Now, this prayer point before we go, you will say, Lord, teach me, help me to be perfect like you. And you pray it from your heart because why are we doing this fasting? We can't be fasting and we can't, we can't end up loving like God and, or end up thinking like God, being like God. Then what's the point of fasting? This whole thing happened today. So we can use it as a learning process in this fast. So there could be something we could learn. This is a practical thing that just happened and we learned from it. So I'm going to release the line. You will pray, Father, please help me. I want to be perfect. I want to be like you. I want to love like you. I want to forgive like you. I want to help like you. I want to think like you. I want to do like you. Pray from your heart and you will feel his presence so strong. God is pleased with a lot of you. But these things that are happening is also building and shaping you to be a real believer. The kind that Jesus Christ came here to die for. Yes, he wants you to be like him. So begin to pray wherever you are. He says, we have to be perfect. That's right. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven. Uh -huh. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. I want to be perfect, Lord. I want to be perfect, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me to love. Help me to forgive. Help me to be kind to people. I don't just want to say it. I want to do it. Yes, I want to live like Christ lived. I want to be a representative of Christ. I want people to see Jesus in me. When they look at me, I want them to see Jesus in me. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. After praying that prayer, how do you guys feel? Have you not forgiven the lady? You've even forgiven the people that made video about me, right? You just ignore them. You're like, ah, let that's their business. They will deal with God, but I have nothing against it. You feel light. You feel good. That's right. You just keep going on, moving on. Why? Why do you think that I will keep going higher and higher? Because I do as the spirit leads. See, some people will never give that woman the $400. Oh. Not to talk of saying, don't pay back, keep it. After everything they've already done for her. After all, if, the fact that she even lied and she... But you know what? If God can forgive her, why can't I forgive her? Why not? As a servant of God, we're going to go... I've been through so many things with so many people. Yeah, so many people that have said bad about me, they've come back, they're listening now, they're part of us now. It's okay, church Church is is a hospital. I told you guys, like a hospital. The people in church are sick people. Yeah, me, I was very sick before the Holy Spirit took over my life, yeah? Some of you here, don't please, you know you were very sick. From the first day you started watching this video, you were very sick. Either you had very bad temper or very something, something was not right. Even till now, Seth. You are still a little sick. <laughs> Meaning, you still have something. <laughs> oh my God. There is still something in you that needs healing. <laughs> I'm not talking of healing like pain and sickness. I'm talking of some kind of character or something that you know. <laughs> so this is a hospital. People are going to wrong you. People are still are going to ask for forgiveness. No matter how many times they come, as long as there's repentance, forgive them. That's what the Bible says. Forgive them as many times. Because when we go to God, we always ask for forgiveness almost every day. And he forgives us. So we have to be like him. You understand what I mean? So just forgive. And just pray. And serve God. 
Be holy. Love people. Love yourself. Love God. When you are kind to people, like I said, it's not because you want show off or you want... You're, you're doing it because you're a child of God. And you know that most likely that person was led to you. Because God knew you could help that person. They would have gone to somebody else. But they came to you. Because God knows that somehow you can help that person. I was watching the book of um, the, the, the Moses, the story about Abraham. You know, I, I posted a, a, a post about kids' um, YouTube channel, that Christian channel. Pastor Isaac's wife gave it to me for my son. My son is 10. So while I was, my son put it on the TV, the, you connected YouTube to our TV. While he was watching it, these Bible stories, even, even though it's looking like it's for kids, even adults can learn something from it. While he was watching it, I was watching some with him. My father was watching too. And they were showing the part where Abraham, God told him to sacrifice his son, the one that he loves, to, to him. And Abraham, in the distance, they showed how Abraham cried and how he, he took his son up. And then the son was asking, where is the sacrifice? And he was now saying, and the son willingly, the way they acted, it, the son willingly gave himself. And he tied the boy up. And he was crying. And then God said, don't hurt that boy. Don't touch him. That look. God provided the sacrifice, right? And I learned something from that. And I said I was going to share it with you guys. Because whenever me, I'm watching something, oh my God, I always get something. It says, whenever I wrote it down, it says, whenever God asks for a sacrificial offering, or whenever God asks for you to sow a seed, or whenever God asks you to help somebody, most likely he has provided that thing or he will provide it. You understand? Whenever God asks for sacrificial offering, he provides it. He says your willingness to obey will make the provision easy. I don't know if you guys get, I wrote it down in my memo. Your willingness to obey. At first, it seemed like there was nothing available for the sacrifice. That animal was not there at first. But because he obeyed to the last minute, to the very last detail, the sacrifice was provided. Let me tell you, I was telling you guys of, of one of my followers that said she was owing people money and I was saying, Lord, I don't know if I should help this one. Give me a sign. The money that I used to give the girl, one of my followers sent tight. Of a thousand one hundred and forty something. It was provided and I used it to help. What if after God has given me the sign by providing it. And I still refuse to help. Ha! There are some of you. God will say so. I remember one time I did a video saying that. God is telling me to tell you guys to sow seed. And I preached the story of that lady. With the prophet that told her to feed him. And she said she only has a little bit left. For she and her son to eat and die. He said yes even with that make for me first. There was provision made. The food was there. And the moment she made for him, they never lacked. Some of you commented on that video that you had no money in your account, but when you check your account, the amount God told you, the money was sitting down there waiting. How many of you remember the comments? Some of you read it. Somebody said she heard $75, but she did not have that amount. She went to her account and she saw that the state of uh, in the Canada government has deposited $75 in her account. She started screaming. She wrote it on the video. You guys saw the comment. He provided it. He provided the amount he told her to sow. So when God is leading you to help somebody, most likely he knows that you have it or, or somehow he will provide it for you to help that person. Now, you may not know that, that the provision will be made, but once you are willing to do it, then the provision will be made visible. Just like once Abraham tied the son and was about to stab the son, suddenly an animal appeared for sacrifice. The animal was not there before. But because of his willingness to obey, to do everything, the sacrifice, the sacrificial offering appeared. Yes. 
Yes. So when I was watching that, I had to write it. I said, I'm going to share with them. And then I wrote um, Genesis 22, 13. It said, then Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught by his horns in a ticket. So he took the ram and sacrificed it at the burnt offering in place of his son. And whenever you obey the kind of blessings that follow that obedience, see, sometimes it's not even about the person you are helping. It's just a test between like, it's just a test that God is testing you to see if all these messages that you've been hearing, all these things you've been preaching to people, if it comes to the practical, to the reality, would you do what you have been saying? That person is, that person is not even the one to worry about right now. It's you that is, see, when somebody comes for help, it is not the person in question. No, it doesn't matter if it's your enemy or whatever. It is you. This whole thing is about you. It's not even about the person. It's about you to see if you will pass or fail, to see if you are truly changed, to see if you're truly like Jesus. You understand what I mean? So it wouldn't matter who the person is. Sometimes it comes with someone that hates you. Someone that speaks evil of you. Someone that doesn't even support your ministry. It comes with someone that normally you won't want to give. That even as they are telling you, it's upsetting you. <laughs> I say, it. sometimes it comes. See, it's not, it's not even coming from your best friend. It's coming from somebody that you have told yourself that even if you see them hungry, dying, you won't help them. As they're even begging you, you just want to block them. But God is watching you. What, what is my daughter going to do? Is she going to be wicked? Or is she going to be like me? Is she going to bless her? In fact, let me provide the money. Boom. You will see somebody is messaging you. I just wanted to give you 100 bucks. And that person was asking 100. That's a sign already. God is saying, give this 100 to this person. So it will not even be like it's your own money that you are spending. <laughs> But even with that, some people will still not give. They will say, why? Why? Why would I give her my money? I hate her. I don't like her. Don't remember what she did last time. Why do you think you just got that hundred? Exactly the amount that this person is asking. Can't you see it's a sign that you should give? <laughs> I pray that you will learn something from this. God doesn't want us to live like people of this world. He wants us to be led by his spirit. That's what makes us different. Because the people of this world, they don't have the spirit of God. They don't even recognize the Holy Spirit. They don't even know the Holy Spirit. When we do things out of being led, they laugh at us. They're like, you're stupid. What kind of leading is that? Can't you see she did this to you? Man, you are supposed to treat her like this. But you... Jesus Christ was on the cross. What Can somebody tell me what he said? Let's see if you guys read your Bible. After all the things they did to Jesus, what did he say? Father what? Father what? For what? I want you guys to say it. After everything they did to Jesus, put nail on him, whip him, do everything. What did Jesus, what prayer did he pray for the people? Father, forgive them. <laughs> there's another person in the Bible that I admire so much, Stephen, when they stoned Stephen Stephen said, Lord, don't count this sin against them, meaning Father, forgive them for stoning me to death hey! when you get to that level you know, see, in fact you are Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit is you they are stoning you to death you are begging for God to forgive them for stoning you to death. Hey, even me, I'm praying daily to get to that point. It's not easy, but that's how God wants us to be. Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. Have you ever thought about this? All things work together for good. Jesus knew that this thing happening will work together. For the good of the people that will believe in him. So why, why put a curse on them? No, forgive them. Because it's still fitting into part of our plan. So sometimes when people hurt you, it's part of, like what this girl did today. It was part of today's plan by God for us to learn from it. Now, look at how we are learning from this message. 
God planned it together like this today. Yes. So we can learn. So can't we just forgive and move on? We've learned the message. We've le- we, 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 we now know what God is trying to tell us. That's right. So some of the things happening in your life is supposed to happen. Even though it seems like it's hurtful at that time. It was meant to happen. Judas was meant to betray Jesus. Somebody had to do it. Yeah. It's unfortunate that it was Judas. But that thing was meant to happen. So from day one that he picked Judas, he knew that this is the guy that will, will betray him. In every church, there, there's, there's not just one Judas. There's a lot. And they all have their roles to play. Sometimes after the mess that they mess up, the church goes to another level. From time they have to do something for everybody in the church to now realize something. And before you know it, everything changes. Sometimes you, somebody had to hurt you so bad for you to run to God and repent and be so close to God. So that time they hurt you, you cried. You said you are evil. You are that. But did you see how that evil they did turned out to, to be good? Because you repented because of that thing. And now you're on fire for God that it doesn't even seem so bad anymore. Like it doesn't, it doesn't seem as bad as it was when they did it to you. You have forgiven. You say, my God, I know I was mad when you did that to me, but thinking of my relationship with God now, if you hadn't done that to me, I don't know if I would have ever repented and loved God like this. So thank you so much. Yeah. That's above you. A man broke up with, with you. Yes. It hurts you so bad and he cheated with, on you with your best friend. In fact, he married your best friend. And you got so broken to a point that nobody could help you. Suddenly you came on Facebook one day. I was preaching, talking about Jesus loves you. Talking about some things you entered. You started crying. You repented. You got filled with the Holy Ghost. And now you can hear from God clearly. And now God is telling you he wants to use you as a powerful man of God. If that thing had not happened, most likely you will still be so close to that boyfriend. You will still be with him all the time. You won't have time for God. But see, see, see what happened? That thing had to happen. You don't understand? So that Judas was needed. That betrayer was needed for you to get to your destiny. They help you get to your destiny. It hurts, but it helps. Abraham needed to be tested like that for him to be blessed mightily by God. You don't understand? When you see things like this, oh, you will forgive easily. You will count it all joy when these things happen. He said, in all things we should give thanks to God. This is what he wants us to do. We that are in Christ Jesus, he wants us to thank him in every situation. Because there's something that's going to come out of that situation. We may not know it now, but one day it will make sense why it happened. I pray that as we are fasted, we are not just staying away from food and water. We are also learning more and more of how to be like Jesus. I pray that this fast, the Holy Spirit will transform our lives and make us better believers and fill our hearts with love. So we'll not just say we are believers, but from the way we act, the way we love people, the way we treat people, even the way you are kind to somebody will make them repent. Somebody that doesn't want to hear about Jesus, your kindness towards them is enough message. You don't need to always preach. Sometimes the way you act towards people is the message already. And they want to know your God. They want to know why you're so nice. And you say, well, I'm just trying to be like Jesus. Let me tell you about Jesus. Before you know, you have won one soul. You say, nobody has ever been so kind to me. No one has ever treated me this good. Only you. Even with everything I've done to you, you're the only one that has been helping me. Why? And then you will tell them why. Because of Jesus. They say, tell me about this Jesus. I want to know him. You just want a soul. May we be soul winners in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Have you been blessed today? <laughs> hey, God, thank God we have these things on recording. Because sometimes when you're down, you can go back and listen to them and just just be uplifted again. You know, <laughs> let's not just say we are Christians. Let's show it in the way we act, the way we treat people, the way we love people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So we are done with day two. I will see you guys in about four hours and 20 minutes for day three. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to go watch a movie. Pastor Isaac and I were talking and he recommended a, a Nigerian movie talking about witchcraft in the church. That there's a lot of things they expose in that movie of what happens in the church. And I was telling him that I was going to tell you guys to watch it after I watch it. But I'm going to go watch it now. If anybody wants to watch, it's on YouTube. Um, it's called... Da, 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 da. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It says Witchcraft in the Church, Nigerian movie. It has part one and two. So while I'm waiting for the next prayer line, I'll watch it to see. You know, these I like Christian movies. I like movies that, that expose things. Because I'm in the ministry, I need to know some of these things. It's not everything the Holy Spirit will tell you. Sometimes it will happen to you. <laughs> you will learn it from experience. Sometimes somebody will tell you their story. Sometimes you may see it in a movie. Sometimes you may see it in a church. Okay? So I'll watch it and I'll tell you guys what's up. But for those that want to watch it while I'm watching, you know me, I like to share things with you guys. Witchcraft in the church. If you go on YouTube, you type witchcraft in the church and then you type Nigerian movie. You will see it, part one and part two. So we'll see you guys soon. If you haven't given your offering, I'll post the PayPal, the Cash App, and the Nigerian account number for those that are still yet to give their offering. For those that have given, may God bless you mightily. The money you gave, may God reward you, give you like 100 times more than you gave in Jesus' name. Somebody sent a message with our offering. It was so interesting. I wanted to read it. To you guys this is for mariama sawo she sends um 75 dollars 75 cents i'm like what's up with the 75 75 she says my three days fast offering may god continue to bless you woman of god i you know on paper i read all your messages she said i so thank god for leading me to your page about four months ago she said oh my god this is my first time fasting without food for a whole day, let alone three days with a very bad toothache and headache. But it's all good. I'm doing it to please my father. No pain, no gain, right? Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God, when I was reading that message, I was smiling. She said, it's all good. She has a bad headache. She has toothache, but she's doing this to please her father. She said, no pain, no gain. <laughs> Can somebody type that? No pain, no gain. <laughs> God bless you, sweetie. Don't worry. You guys will be done soon. I wish I could give all of you food after we break it. If you guys were all in front of me, I would have fed you guys. But you know how it is. So don't start cooking food for tomorrow. Some of you now. <laughs> don't go and cook your love fries waiting for tomorrow. <laughs> don't be preparing food for tomorrow when you break it. <laughs> Stay away from food. You can do this. All right. Love you guys. All right. See you at 12. Bye bye.